Welcome back everybody to the driveway engineer. Today I have my new oil pump in. Um, I'm going to be installing it here in a moment. I'll show you guys how to do this precisely with loving care and all the special tools and procedures that the comment section would like me to do because everybody in the comment section is a professional technician. Um, this is a uh, Melling, I think the part number is something 295 uh, M295 it's not a high volume it's not a high pressure I don't care I don't care what your uncle brother told you I'm not putting a high volume or high pressure pump in it and I don't care so save that for the high the comment section too um, I'm able to finagle that under there on my C10 and then it just bolts to these four these four bolts hold it down um it takes a little bit of work to line it up on the crank but uh i'll be right back when i get it done you can see my super high dollar double roller million dollar timing chain too um but i'm gonna snake that in there also there's two bolts that go up are two little tabs that go up to the main caps and they have a 13 millimeter on them up inside the oil pan that hold them to the windage tray uh, so I'll be back when I get all that hooked up so now for the part that's gonna get everybody all up in arms and whatever and I don't care um, you can go crazy with stacking a bunch of feeler gauges and everything else in there if you want um, but what I do is pretty simple. Those bolts are snug. I let it go wherever it wants to go. And then I torque it precisely with precision tools. And And there you go, now it's precisely installed exactly to spec. So that's how I do it. We'll be back when I'll show you how I prime the oil pump. All right, front cover is the same deal. Get the balancer good and hot. You can slide it most of the way on, run it the rest of the way with the impact. Uh, leave all the bolts loose. Let Run the engine around a couple times, let it find its spot and uh, run the bolts down. And here we are, oil pump installed, uh, new filter installed, the guy at AutoZone, there's a 10,000 mile filter. Okay, well, for me they last about two seconds, but uh, let me grab the tripod and I'll show you guys how I prime a LS oil pump. All right, here's, here's how I prime the oil pump. Figure out how I want to do my gas pedal here. It looks like I lost communication with my pedal. And we're back. And we're gone. And we're back. Huh? Hello. Say hello to YouTube.
So, no blowout that time. That's good. Pumped oil up top. Didn't get everywhere. But it did get up top. So, that's good. So, at least I can button it up and go about my peaceful little way consent in the fact knowing that uh i have oil flowing and it's not blowing out of my filter anymore um that's pretty much it that's that's the whole oil pump install i'll work the rest of the weekend on button the rest of this crap back up i ordered new uh body mount bushings for my core support and i'll probably paint the bottom of the, my core support because it's all ratty and gross um but yeah Hopefully it's all downhill from here now. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time on The Driveway Engineer.